Hey. Yo, hold on a sec. Yo, hold on one sec. Hey, once again, y'all y'all know who this is. This your boy, Rob Thomas Jr. This is the real news behind the news. Oh, yeah, man, today is a very uh, rainy, overcast, and somewhat cold Friday, November 11th, 2023. And if y'all been paying attention to me lately, I've been keeping the focus on local politics in the city of Freeport and the uh, parish of Cattle here in Louisiana. But there's some major things going on that's going to affect how much money that the federal government is able to give local and state governments inside of America because they finna give all that goddamn money to Israel. Notice this, y'all. Just in the last almost two years, we done gave Ukraine almost $200 billion of your tax money to fight against a war against Russia that they have already lost. We just gonna call this shit what it is. The Ukrainians have been getting their ass kicked since going back to 2014. That's when that war actually started. Y'all go back and look at the video I talk about history didn't just start yet last year. The Ukrainians were overthrown by Barack Obama. Fast forward to today, we have given them folks almost 200 billion. Now we have told Vladimir Zelensky that we ain't got no more money for you. All our money got to go to Israel. Do y'all want to know why here in America we have been given, do y'all realize we give in Israel almost $10 billion a week? No, 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 we give them $10 million a week. We give the country of Israel $4 billion a year to create apartheid uh, activities against the Palestinians. Now you got a whole war over there where these folks are, these folks, so-called folks who call themselves Jews but are not, but are of the synagogue of Satan, these folks are, are what you call Zionists. And then you got all these stupid ass folks, white and black, here in America, talking about them God's chosen people. When them people who are Zionists, who control the Israeli government, they don't believe in God. But guess what? We're giving them now four, uh, 10, 10 million a year, 4 billion a year. We finna start giving all that money that we were giving to Ukraine. We finna start giving it to Israel for for genocide, for war crimes, for atrocities against the Palestinians. Now let me show y'all. If you look at the topic of this video, it's about Jeffrey Epstein. Let me show y'all why Jeffrey Epstein was so important and why you see what's going on in Israel right now. Jeffrey Epstein had Epstein Island. And you know what he was doing on that island? He was getting all your politicians, all your entertainers, all your influential people in America and other uh, countries around the world. Your senators, your governors, your uh, presidents. Bill Clinton went to uh, Epstein Island almost 25 times. You know what Jeffrey Epstein's job was? He was an agent for the Israeli uh, uh, Secret Service, the Mossad. Jeffrey Epstein's job was to catch your politicians, your influential people on his island, excuse my language, I'm just gonna keep it real, fucking little boys and little girls. Once he caught them in those compromising situations, he was able to blackmail them, telling them, if you do not do this on behalf of Israel, we'll release this information where you had sex with that little 12, 13, 14 year old girl. He's telling your senators and your congressmen that we got you on camera with these little boys and these little girls doing nefarious things. And if you don't do what the country of Israel wants, for, wants you to do for them, we're going to bring this shit out. This is why your politicians in America are so caught up in funding Israel as opposed to funding motherfucking people in America. 
Do y'all realize ain't nothing been done about what's going on in, in East Palestine, Ohio? Ain't nobody, in, uh, uh, ain't none of your politicians worried about the water in Flint, Michigan or Jackson, Mississippi. Ain't none of your politicians in America. Remember when Mike Pence, former um, um, vice president of the United States, when um, Tucker Carlson asked him, well, what about America? He said, America is not my responsibility. I'm not worried about that. You know why? Because they are compromised. Now, Jeffrey Epstein's job was to get your politicians in compromising situations with little boys and little girls. This is no, what about, what about, yeah, I can appreciate it. Appreciate, appreciate it, Chris. His job was to get your politicians caught up in these compromising situations now that they got your politicians. I ain't going to call no names because I don't know who all went down there that's currently in your American government, but evidently a lot of them went to Epstein Island, did what they did, nefarious um, activities with little boys and little girls. Now the government of Israel is co controlling your politicians, telling them that we don't give a fuck about your people in America. Y'all need to give us this money so we can continue the a genocide and the part we can continue the genocide and the war crimes against the Palestinians. This is what's really going on, y'all. And y'all look at the real news behind news like, oh, that's just conspiracy. Tell me how is a fucking conspiracy theory when the truth is what it is. We know that three fourths of your politicians that's in office now and in the last 20 years was down there with Epstein. We know that Bill Gates' wife left him. Bill Gates, that this man that everybody thinks is so great, his wife left to him, left him because of his relationship with Jeffrey Epstein and the shit that Jeffrey Epstein had going on. Let me show y'all again. Jeffrey Epstein was an agent of the Israeli Mossad. He was an agent of the Mossad, meaning that his job was to catch your politicians here in America in compromising situations with little kids and use that to blackmail them into doing what Israel wanted as opposed to what's best for the American people. Plain and simple, y'all. So when y'all look at this shit, man, y'all better pay attention, especially black folks. Because we have a lot of black folks saying, well, we need to worry about black folks here in America and all that. But do y'all realize black folks in America have been tied to what's going on with the Palestinians for almost 80 years? Go back and look at Malcolm X, Muhammad Ali, um, all these black um, social leaders since the 1960s have been telling us what's going on. We stand united with Palestine because the shit that they are going through is the shit that we're going through here. The genocide. The, um, the belittling of our people on behest of the people who are in power. That's what's happening in America. And Jeffrey Epstein, they killed him so he couldn't name the names on who he had down there on his island out of your politicians who were, who were committing crimes, sexual deviant type crimes against your politicians. Jeffrey Epstein worked for the Israeli, uh, we're going to say the Israeli intelligence force, the Mossad. His job was to catch Bill Clinton, super freaky ass, down there having sex with little girls and little boys. That's what really went down with Jeffrey Epstein. This is why they murdered him in prison. So now here you are, your government leaders are so corrupted by their uh, indiscretionate activities with children on Epstein's Island that they're being blackmailed and can't help you in America get clean drinking water, but they can help Israel get tens of billions of your tax dollars. Same thing that's going on here in Freeport. The former sheriff, I mean, well, the sheriff of Caddo Parish, the current sheriff of Caddo Parish, who's not going to run no more, he has your black politicians and your white politician here in Freeport under his thumb because he has information in his little black book 
about your politicians and your religious leaders here in Cattle Parish, Shreveport, uh, Shreveport, uh, Plain Deal in Belcher, All City, Vivian. He got information on your politicians. He know what, what politicians are gay. He know what politicians like little boys. He know what politicians like to get high off dope and have sex with little kids. He already know this. So he controls whoever it is that is in office right now. I mean, this shit getting deep. Man, y'all give me a second. Let me go ahead and eat this sandwich real quick.